welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be testing some somewhat new elf makeup that recently came out not that long ago, probably like a few months ago, a little bit. And let's go ahead and finish my eyes. I did use everything I have down below, everything I have that I'm going to be using on my face will be down in the description box. So check that out if you want to know and everything. But, um,. So I am going to use the brow lift. I use this about once or twice off camera, but since I was doing a full face, I decided to go ahead and use that. It's a very soft type texture, but when you put it in your brows, it does not budge, move, anything like that. So it is a very good brown gel that I have saw that I got. I'm also going to be testing out some drugstore makeup that recently came out also. One of the brow products is the Thick It and Stick It by NYX. You guys know I love the Costa. You guys know I love the Brow Benefit. Things like that. So, um, yeah. Oh, also got the Elf Camera Powder. That I'm going to be using on my face. But I'm going to actually use both of the Cookie and Dream Collection Putty and the Elf Grip Primer. One on each side. And use that to um, do a powder foundation. I usually don't do powder foundation. Usually I do a foundation and then put powder over it. But I decided to switch up. But let's go ahead and finish my eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Brow Freeze. And use the spoolie that I use to do my brows. And I'm just going to put a little bit on. I noticed that a little bit, Lily, a little bit goes a long, long way. So, usually what I do, I just take some, put some on my brows. Just a little bit because I don't want them to be too goopy. Even though this is a very extremely soft, like Lily soft formulation. And again, a little bit Lily goes away. Because when it says it's a brow freeze, it, they do compare this to the Anastasia Beverly Hill one, which I never used before, and I haven't got it myself. So, truthfully, if it just like the brow freeze, uh, the one from, um, Anastasia Beverly Hill, then it's a good dupe. Then usually I just press it down and I press it where I want. And it does does not have like a little tacky. Then I'll wipe this off a little bit just to get some of that brow stuff off. And then I'll go back and just kind of like try to fluff it up some. Just so it'd be like all even and everything. And pretty much how my brows are. And I'm telling you right now, it does a good job. Like Lily, wherever you press it, wherever you put it, it stays. So, yeah. I might take a little bit. I'm going to take a little bit on this side and just do a little bit of extra um, product in this. But yeah. Right? And you can see my brows are literally going to stay in one spot. So I do like it. It's surprisingly very good. But there are my brows. Completely on and everything. I am going to use my eyes first. So I'm just going to use my Milani um what I'm thinking is that I really don't want to do a blue look. I want to do kind of springy look. So I'm thinking that I could use part of both palettes. And if you hear yelling, again, it's my son. Sorry for that. He just... <laughs> he drank me nuts when he does this. But anyways, um, so yeah. So I'm going to use a Milani. I don't have an L primer. I used to have one, but then I discovered Milani, and I realized that Milani is a very good eye primer. I love it a little bit. goes a long way. Keep my eyeshadows on for a really, really long time. So, yeah. I'm just going to put a little bit. 
and everything. Usually I do my face first, but I decided to go ahead and just, because I really want to play with the palette and everything, so. Okay, so. Now we got a few, I'm going to let that dry because you're supposed to let it dry for at least 20, 30 seconds. I'm going to put on the, I'm going to try the e.l.f. Cookie Dream Lip Exfoliation. Pretty much it looked like this. So, we're going to try this for our brain lip products. Have the exfoliant part of it. This feel like it's exfoliate really well. Okay, take this off. actually does make my lips feel smooth. They get where I saw on the dead skin. Hmm. Yeah, I see. Usually when I do this, and sorry if I keep knocking the camera over. Usually when I do this, I do a different in the Patrick Ta lip scrub, a lip mask, and everything, which I am going to put some on. Only because I want something on my lips if I actually put on the lip product. So. And this does a good job keeping my lips moisturized and everything. Okay, now we have that on. Now let's go do eyes. So I'm going to use, I'm going to start off with the palette. This is my first time using this palette. I've used Elf palettes before. They are great. I love them. They're very blendable, I think. So I'm going to use this very light shade right here to pretty much, um, um, oh, I can't talk, um, set my eyeshadow. Pretty much just set the primer and everything. I always use like a white or a somewhat white palette. Now I didn't get any of the brushes from the set or any of the shadow sticks. I was thinking about getting the shadow sticks but I'm like, eh, no. I prefer to get... Does have no scent. That thing. So... Don't mind me looking weird with this finger right here. Somehow, I think I broke my finger. Does it feel hurt or anything like that? But it feels very, you know, swollen. So, don't mind that. Okay. So, now I'm going to go into the next shade, which is going to be, I think this is, yeah, that shimmering shade. So, Let's go ahead and go into, let's go into the deepest brown right there. And then we'll get into the, pops, the dream one, the bite shadow one. I just wanted something to on the lid just to start the look out. And then we'll get into the orange dream sickle palette and because I wanted to play with both I'll play with this of course off camera everything and I'll um, play with all the other colors and all that I've heard really good things about this and of course if you guys know Elf shadows they're really good let me move you in that way you guys can see the eyes somewhat but you guys know the Elf shadows are really good they're really blendable and everything and work really well as you can see so, let me go ahead and go into the Dream Sickle palette. There's only one matte in this, so I'm going to use that matte, which is the deepest orange right here. And I'm going to use that, the same brush, and just use that to deepen up. And everything, so... Okay, so now that that is done, see, kind of like summer and all that. I 
Okay. I want to make this a little bit deeper. So I'm going to go into, I think this is a matte. Yeah. So I'm going to go into this matte black shade just a little bit on the outer corner. And then I decide what color I want on my lid, which I'm thinking... Uh, I'm thinking one of these shades from here. Oh, the pretty blue. Hmm. Do you guys know is my favorite wine? I will use that least deepen out the outer corner and everything. And then we'll choose a color for. And that's what it looked like. Don't worry. It looks well now, but it'd be blending in as soon as I get done with everything. And I'll blend this all together. Okay. Now, let's see. I think I'm going to go into the orange. Ooh, that's pretty. I kind of like that one right there. That one... This one right here. So I think I'm gonna go into that one. Just gonna use it. Oh uh, yeah. Just gonna use it to pop some on a shadow. That's pretty. I like that. Ooh, that is pretty. There is some fallout, so good thing I did my eyes first. Cause that was so suck but this would look like I think it turned out very beautiful so we'll do the same thing on the other side That is what it looked like. I think it's very pretty for that. Very sparkly. Of course, I'll wipe the fall out. Oh, of course. But yeah. Okay, I'm going to take the original brush and make sure I don't lose any of this color or anything like that. black. don't want to use lose any of the black, so. And then I'll take a clean blend brush. And this is why I blend everything together to make it look seamlessly. Because I don't want to mix and, you know, lose all this beautiful color but this one turned out I think it's pretty you got the smoking you got the brown and everything you got the beautiful colors so again I really do like that just with this make sure you do your eyes first because this can be sometimes followed with these mini bite eyeshadows this I didn't see really any fallout or anything like that so I'm going to use this shade right here for the inner corner Actually, never mind. I'm going to use one of these. Let's see. Do I want to do the pink one? Actually, we'll... Sorry. My freaking hand. It's just like yellow. Okay. So, I'm going to use this one right here for the inner corner. It's a beautiful inner corner shadow. And I think it would be beautiful for the inside. And for the brow bone. Okay. 
So, so far, so good. I'll play with these even more and everything and all that. So, I'm going to go ahead and use something to wipe the fall out because I'm going to need <laughs> Personally, I think it looks good and everything. So, let me go ahead and do my face, do the primary thing and all that then I'll come back for the eyes. So let me go ahead and zoom you out. Now we see the face. But yeah, what I'm going to do since I'm testing the um, camera uh, foundation, powder foundation, I'm actually going to be doing, like I said, half with the primer, grip primer, and then I have with the cream cookie cream one. Now I've heard that this is really good. It's like the dupe for the milk milk hydro, hydro grip, which I do have that. And the cookie and dream just like the other putties, but a little more softer and more creamier. So I want to do this on this side. Also with this, I've heard that you have to let this dry for like a few minutes because if you don't, it will kind of do like a little pill up. Kind of like the um, high road grip, you have to like literally um, let that set. If you don't, then it will mess up the makeup. And I've heard a lot of people said that it will pill up. I always make sure I let it set because I know that it will do that. So I'm going to do half again. So, it feels very, it actually does have that sticky type flavor. It's sticky, let me put my hair back. I don't want anything on my hair. But, um, it does have that sticky feeling. So, it does feel like it's hydrating also. Like, it will definitely hydrate your skin and it does have the tack to it. So I'm going to let that dry for a few minutes while I put on the other primer on the other side. But again, I will test this stuff out on its own, individually, by itself, off camera. And I will give you guys my own reviews and everything. When my likes, not likes, on makeup wellness or whatever. And this is what it look like. Again, I'm just, ooh, it is a little bit, ooh, yeah, it is a little more smoother. So I'm going to put that on this side. And just put it where, same place. Make sure I have it everywhere. Because if it does a good job, just like my other primers, then I'll be happy. And it feels like it's doing the same thing. Like very smooth type feeling. Have a smoothing effect. So, we'll see. Also, our great things about the Camo Xilla powder does have a little bit of that cookie scent. So, let's go ahead and this feels tacky. Not as much as it did when it's put on. It's a little bit different than the milk one, I think. You know, milk has like that grip, like that major tackiness. This is somewhat the tackiness, but not as much as the Hydro one. This one, the Cream one is very smooth. It does remind me of the original matte version of this. Very smooth and very creamy. It did keep, went on easily. So we'll see. I'm going to do one side with the um, puff that come along with this that I dropped. And then the other side, I'm going to be using a brush. So I'm going to use one of my fluffy brush on this side and this side with powder. I see which one works a lot better. So 
I did get two shades. I didn't know which one to use. I got the first shade, light two in, two tin in, and then the other one was like neutral ivory. Let's see. Let me get it. So I couldn't figure out. It was fair 120. So this is something I might want to use like over um concealer and stuff, which would my mini put on concealer before I put on powder. I don't like to do powder without concealer. Okay, so concealer, I'm gonna fast forward this. I'm just using my e.l.f. Hydro Camera Concealer in Fair Beige. This I'm gonna just use my um sponge and just pretty much spray it. But before I do that, I have to Now we could do this. So again, one size with the sponge, the other side with a brush. And we will see. Ooh, that's yeah, a little too dark. I may have to mix the other one in just to even out my skin or maybe just be better if it was with a brush. It seems like this is going on great, and it seems like that is actually not sticking, not really caking. I have to mix the two. one will be a little too light but truthfully it's actually the right color for me until I get because this is like the swatch of it see how light it is but my skin tone until I get more tan yeah see like the difference between the dark and the light so I like it through the brush because I feel like that it doesn't show as much texture as it did with the powder or with the sponge. I feel like I get more of a neutral, light to medium type coverage. And I feel like that it's not like it's saturating pores, everything like it is on the one with the sponge or with the grip primer. I don't know if I didn't set it long enough because I rated like a, literally a few seconds before I even put powder on me. Or uh, because of the sponge. So, yeah. I think I like the one with the um, with the other powder. I like the one with this one. I'll just try the other one. I'll see what I like. I'll probably set it on a little bit longer than what okay, normally I set this on. But this is my face and everything. Try to set you back. Try and get you closer. That way you guys can see. But this is what my face look like. Okay. So now we got that all settled. Let's go ahead and do concealer. Do concealer. So we're going to do powder underneath my eyes and set it. Which usually I have type of powder. So I'm going to use my Vell powder just to set underneath. This should, you know, brighten up my eyes. Okay, enough powder. I can't do no more powder. 
That's the reason why I always put foundation on first before I do powder because it tend to mess up my eyes and underneath my eyes like really bad. Like as you can see, it just like ugh. okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and do a bronzer again. I'll fast forward stuff that is not new that I'm not testing out on using. And everything. So. use this I like forever but it's very beautiful so once again I'm done with this I'm definitely going to be spraying I always spray every time I um put my palettes on it just seemed a lot better once I put powder on you know work a lot better once powders on and it don't look so so I'm go ahead and put the powder on and spray See, it looks a lot better, except my pores are like literally popping out. Which means, this is the reason why I have to have foundation prime something on. Because, with some and all that, that's why my oils will be coming out. So, yeah. Okay, so, now, we could do the, not do mascara, but I'm going to try one of the... Colourpop duos that they had from the pop collection. I did buy the whole collection. Bronzers, I mean up on the blush, lip duo, eye duo, whole nine yards. So I have a whole bunch of from the pop collection. Whole nine yards. I went through everything and I decided what I was gonna keep, what I was gonna use and not use. So yeah, this is of course. It's a black eyeliner, but I wanted to see how it works. I have a different eyeliner that I'm going to be using on my gel. And this duo is called Top Dollar. So you got the black and then you have the brown. And I'm going to use the black on my eyes. Just no more. That's pretty much it. I think it looked good. Okay, so that's the black. And then for waterline, I'm thinking either white or yellow or even gold. Because the gold looks very like sparkly, very blue. And I figured this would be perfect to tie in what we have on the um I don't think so. Okay, so let me go wipe out what's on my lip because I have three things. Okay, so the thing I got is one the stain, the lip stain. So I got that and I got mine in Power Marv. I also got the lip gloss from the collection, Cookie and Dream collection. And this one is in Cream Come True. So that's what it looked like. Basically, it's just like a clear type gloss with some sparkles, like little black dots in them, as you guys can see. So, yeah. And I decided to use one of my lip liners from ColourPop that I got that was in the collection in Starship, which I think was pretty. 
I think it will work really great with the lip. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put on the lip, the lip stain, and then try on the cookies and drain color. Try on the lip stain. Oh yeah. But that is the lip stain. You know, I actually had this on. I tried one off the other day because I was like swatching my lip products and trying to figure out what I'm going to do for this look. I'm telling you right now, I wiped it off and the stain stayed on for a really long time. It gave you this beautiful, like, lily stain. I'm going to let this dry a little bit, and then we'll put on the gloss. Because I kind of like this look. I don't think I really want to put anything cloning the gloss above this. Because this is pretty. It's like a little sunset, summer type look. So, um, I actually like it. Okay, so let me go ahead and run down everything that I did and all that. Let me put my glasses on. Run it down. I'm not mad at about this look. I really have a look. So first of all, the two primers, I have to get them more try. I have to see if this really works and everything. And I like both of them. This one, the Cookie and Dream one, very creamy, very smooth. It's just like the regular putty one, but a little more creamier. Looks beautiful and everything and all that. Also, like this, it does remind me a lot of the Hydro Grip Primer. So, yeah. I've, so far, so good. Now, I don't know if it's great for the powder. Now, I don't know if... Um, I have to test this out with one on the other and like Lily just do the face one and then try the powder. I didn't like the little puff. It seemed like my texture came out more and everything and it just seemed like that. The textures come out more on this side with the Hydro Grip than it does on the Cookie and Dream one. And I think next time I need to use the light shade of this. And with the way my skin is looking, it looks it's starting to look very oily. Now, this is the reason why I have to put foundation on. Because I feel like that even powder foundation, no matter what I use and what um, primer I use, it doesn't work on me. So, I wanted to try this with some more probably powders. I mean, primers. Use one of these at a time and try it. And I like the brush better. I feel like that it did a lot of coverage, but it diffused the product a lot more. As you can see, there's like texture right here, and my pores, my pores are coming out, which means no, I'm gonna be oily here because of that. So I'm glad if it keeps my makeup on for a long time, yay. If it doesn't make me look oily, yay. But if it just plan on keeping my makeup on for a long time and then my pores come out and then I start growing oily, then I'm like, it's a good primer, but not, Jody is not a long time. So, I uh, love the lip color, both the lip one lip liner from Colourpop and the lip stain. So, yeah, well, I do like that. I like the breeze. The e.l.f. Brow Freeze, that's really good. Lily, keep your eyebrows on for a really long time so you don't have to worry about this coming off until you actually take your makeup off. Um, love the e.l.f. Bite Shy Shadow, blend it beautifully. Have to play some more with this one, more of the blue, use more of the blues. But I did like this too. Love Elf palettes. They are really good. Really like the liner from ColourPop from the Pop Collection. I have some more I'm going to be trying, but 
like this right here give like a little gold and everything these are very beautiful and all of that um i'll try this in another um look because i really don't want to mess with this and i really do like it do you like the scrub it's okay. I mean, don't feel like it really took everything off my lips, all that. So, for the most part, I like a lot of stuff I tried. I have to try them out a little bit more and on their own in different ways and everything. But that is everything of me trying some what new elf makeup and everything and all that. So, if you guys like it, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and give it a thumbs up, and hit the notification bell. That way you guys know when I upload every weekend and Wednesday. And my name is Christina, and I'll see you guys later. Until then, have a lovely day and night, or wherever you guys are. Bye!